my name is Eddie Tofpig. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here is your daily technical analysis of Brent Crude Oil and Spot Gold. A bear, uh, ice Brent Crude Oil Futures. A bearish black Murrah Bozo yesterday and second bearish black crow, thus leaving us with the possibility of a pipe top formed over this week so far. The top side was capped, unsurprisingly, by the very recent 50% Fibonacci line at 81.50, plus the repair to the breach of the bright red upper tie currently 80.08, of the mid-April to early July bearish Andrews pitchfork, and a move to close below, if only just, the dark blue middle tie currently at 78.75 of the mid-April to early July bearish shift pitchfork. It also has seemingly confirmed a pullback from a possible double bottom that has had just about formed over late July to date, so we're not going to have that, it's going to be something else. Further above, we have the interesting 38.2% Fibonacci line of September to December 2023 move at 81.86, which is a gateway to most of the moving averages overhead. Meanwhile, looking further below, we have the 50% Fibonacci line of the April 21 to March 22 move at 77.54. Now, so far today, a very small piercing of the overhead dark blue middle time, but prices have since moved back below that middle time. Spot gold. An interesting key reversal down yesterday after the previous session's hanging man pattern which had the highest close ever and not too far away from all the, the all-time high at 25.32. The market punched down through some key levels, notably the combination of the 50% projected Fibonacci line at, at 25.09, the dark blue breached upper trend line currently at 25.07 of the April to date broadening top pattern, as well as the bright red middle time currently at 25.02 of the late June to late July bullish shift pitchfork finally slowing on approach to the lesser projected Fibonacci line at 24.91. That is just ahead of the July high at 24.84. However, prices did not close below all of these supports that were breached, failing to close below the bright red middle time. Despite all of this, we still have overhead some potential topside targets for the original move out of the broadening top pattern. Thus, the pri primary target X would be in the 26.28 area for secondary hard to reach target X1 up in the 26.96 area. The latter is actually above the top of my daily chart. Now, so far today, a higher open and a reactionary move back up through the dark blue upper trend line and the 50% projected Fibonacci line are now approaching the previous session's high and the all-time high. I had pointed out earlier this week how the action over the last week and a half looked like a possible horn top. Well, this is no longer the case as it has been severely challenged today. Thank you for listening. This short version broadcast gives essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.